We're gonna walk across this dam and then we're gonna be on an island in the middle of a river in the middle of the city. And it's gonna be really great. Okay, I'm gonna go. Now. Hi! So the Susquehanna is full of crayfish and I've discovered here a little crayfish shell depository by the herons that eat them. It smells like rotting fish. It's a muskrat burrow, I think. I don't actually know what animal it is, but that feels like the right size for a muskrat. Not weed canopy. Dappled light shining on me. So this is a deer bed. It looks pretty cozy. You know, it's it's safe from the rain. The knotweed covers it, but it's got some soft grass to lay on. So I'm I'm sure a deer had a nice night there once. And here is a Maximus bed. That's our tent. Wow, swimming skeleton fish. Swimming skeleton fish. Where did you find that? I found it on the banks of the Susquehanna River. Wow, I wonder what kind of fish it is. I have no idea. <laughs> so here is this gigantic five trunk maple. And this center trunk here illustrates something really cool about trees, which is that they're hollow. This is all dead wood that's rotted out, but the only part that the tree cares about are these like good two inches of xylem and phloem that's alive. And so the whole thing can be rotten, but as long as the bark and the inner wood is alive, you can have green branches coming out of it. So we've come across this platform growing on a horizontal tree. Rachel is climbing up to a hunting platform up top. I wonder who built this creature. It's a nice place to hang out. This person yeah. left a lot of trash, beer bottles and stuff. I'm not a big fan of that. Look at, Sorry. that's one tree. How many trunks does that one tree have? One, it has two, three, and you can see those ones in Aspenos right there. Yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although they're all fusing, so I don't know what you can count as separate. Poop on a tree. What kind of poop are you? So this yellow plant here is goldenrod. It's a really beautiful tiny little aster flower. And goldenrod is parasitized by goldenrod gall wasps, which create these little fuzzy like collections of leaves that the pupae live inside, or the eggs, the caterpillar, some, some larval stage lives inside here. And it secretes hormones that are just like, stop having inner nodes, just stop. And then it turns into this, and uh, the wasp grows and develops and then goes free. So here is another wasp gall on goldenrod. I don't know if it's the same species or a different species. If you know, let me know also what the species is. I would love to know. The parasitic wasp lays her eggs on the stem, and the eggs secrete hormones that cause the stem to grow this kind of tumor, and the tumor sustains the larva as they grow. So this is, this is a stem gall, and then here's a leaf gall. Yeah, stem galls and leaf galls. They're pretty cool things.